639 miles we are driving today. I'm no fan of the Midwest, but driving through Iowa makes me appreciate Illinois a lot more. Finally made it! Oh my gosh, we finally made it. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. about 7 a.m. I've been up for about an hour and a half and I am just now leaving. I was originally trying to leave at like 6 but then I realized what am I rushing for? I am literally <laughs> we're stopping in Nebraska today so like I don't feel like I necessarily need to like rush to get there. I'm on my way to pick up my boyfriend and then we are going to get going. I'm really tired too. I was gonna grab my family had some five hour energies at home, so I was gonna grab them, but then I read that they were extra strength, so I was like, let me check what the caffeine is. It's probably like 200, which is the daily limit for people. 200 milligrams of caffeine. The energy blend in the five hour extra strengths was 2,000 milligrams. Okay, for clarification, you literally can die from too much caffeine. Uh-uh. I was like, ah, uh, I would rather stop and get the normal five-hour energy or coffee. But coffee makes me have to pee, so we'll see how that goes. I also made my smoothie, and I have a water, and I'm gonna try to not go to the bathroom a thousand times on this trip. But like I said, we shall see. Here's the thing. I know what you're thinking. One, why the heck are you taking a road trip? when the gas prices are like this, and two, why are you going to Colorado when it just snowed 10 inches? Um, the answer is that we're dumb, okay? So we planned this a while ago and didn't realize the gas prices would be terrible. Neither one of us have ever been to Colorado. So we were like, that sounds like a good place to go. So we book it and it's, we're going the last week of May. So who would have thought it's freaking snowing in May not only that, but yeah, we just didn't realize about the gas prices because we booked this a while ago and then everything was already booked, paid for, couldn't really cancel it. So, you know, it's just one of those things that it just accidentally happened and we just kind of have to roll with it because I don't know what else to do. So, your hair looks nice. I was really trying to get out of the house on time and then I was like we're literally going to Nebraska like I'm not worried about getting there early and being like let's sightsee in <laughs> Kearney, Nebraska like all right school bus nine hours and three minutes is approximately our time today so I guess let's get rolling yeah. we are driving 609 no I think I'm dyslexic 639 miles we are driving today. And I really hope, we don't have to go through Chicago, do we? No? No, it's a different direction. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you go through Chicago for everything. Nebraska is west of us. Chicago is like... North, I didn't know if we had to go like... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We are in the literal most rural... Rural. We're in a very rural part of Iowa, and we were going to get lunch, but you know what? There is literally gas stations and a tractor store, so we're just going to chug through it. We're both really tired. He got to nap, and I was going to let him drive, but I cannot relinquish control, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna power through today. Um, but I got a Celsius. I've never had one before. I've heard they're really good. I hope it makes me kind of jittery because I feel like that's what this road trip is missing, like the caffeine high, you know? And I did have a cup of coffee this morning, but that is long gone. So, oh, and then, so we bought these, right? And apparently, what were you saying? Uh, there's some kind of like fee or like deposit fee for buying soda or pop or listen I am no weird. I'm no fan of the Midwest but driving through Iowa makes me appreciate Illinois a lot more all right cheers 
pretty good. This is our lunch for today. We got McDonald's for breakfast, which is really healthy, I know. Okay, people that eat, no, I was gonna say, people that eat healthy on road trips, I mean, it's, good it's for you, impossible. I applaud you. Yeah, exactly, like, I genuinely, I don't, I don't understand. One, I don't even see a McDonald's by us right now. Two, I would not go to McDonald's and get a wrap or a salad because honestly, if you look at the macronutrients for that shit, it's no different than getting a burger, which sucks. So anyway, we got cookies. So we're gonna try one because we're not quite sure. Oh yeah, now I have my smoothie cup to deal with, which is unfortunate, but. I know that Lenny and Larry's was really bad for a while. I, I have hope that they got better, but it's already not looking promising, so we'll see. Oh my God. Cause look at the difference in the cookies. <laughs> I got the baby one. But also look how yours looks better. Mine looks dry as shit. Ew, I can't even break it. Oh man, it already smells bad. <laughs> and please. It's not the worst. I've had Quest before. They're not my favorite, but they'll do. Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you expect from a protein cookie, you know? It's too proteiny, though. Oh, for sure. Just because you can put hey, 15 that... grams into it doesn't mean you need to. <laughs> oh, it's, that's what you get for hitting an 870 total. All right, I'm tapping out. I am so freaking tired. I slept for like five hours last night, and I was trying to drive the whole way. We have like an hour and 45 minutes left and I was just dying. I was like, all right, this is getting unsafe. <laughs> so I relinquished my rights. Take a little nap ski and then hopefully wake up in Kearney, Nebraska. I think we're in Lincoln right now yeah, and yeah. we are. Yeah. We're in Lincoln and the workers at McDonald's were super nice. So they nice. yeah, they were really nice. It's also dead in there. So I don't blame them for talking to us. <laughs> I remember when we used to do that, we'd be working retail, and when it was like dead and we had nothing to do, I'd be stopping customers like, how's your day going? Tell me about it. Got any life troubles you wanna talk about? I got the time. I was waiting until I could tell you both this story at the same time, so I think that I am totally the person that would like accidentally join a cult. And I say that because yesterday, oh my God, I took my car to get a car wash yesterday and it's raining. Nice, I love that for me. Anyway, took the car to get a car wash and I went to like the normal one I used to go to. So it got replaced with this new car wash. So I go in and I pull up to the place where it says pay here and the guy's like, okay, what car wash do you want? And I was like, I have no idea. So he's like, okay, we have like eight, 10 or 11, something like that. And then he goes, but we're having a promotion all month where you can get a car wash, our best one for $5. And I was like, absolutely, let's do that. I'm, you know, not one to pass up on a deal, on a bargain, if you will. We do that and he was like okay let me you know what's your zip code can I have your card I was like yep here you go pays for it and he's like I just need you to fill this out while you're going through the car wash so I'm like okay no problem I'm thinking that it's like a survey um, because it was like residents of our town get this promotion so I'm that's what I'm thinking I'm filling it out while I'm going through the car wash and then lo and behold it's at the very bottom where it says to sign here it says by signing, I agree that I will be billed monthly for these car washes. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, hold on. I never agreed to a freaking subscription. Never once. He verbatim said all month we are having a promotion. Never said anything about a subscription. And so I go out and I like, he comes back up to my car to get the sheet. And I was like, oh, I like don't want to sign up for this. Like I didn't know. And he was like, well, ma'am, you can cancel tomorrow. Like, it's it's our best deal, like, blah, 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 blah. And I just didn't know what to say, so I was like, okay, sure. So now I'm signed up for the car wash club. And they put something on my window for it. That's what that is. <laughs> so I was like, damn. So I would totally be the person to just accidentally join shit. But like, I'm telling you, he didn't say subscription. So technically, I feel like that should be on him. That totally is, right? Because had I heard subscription, I wouldn't have said, but are they required to say that it's a subscription? Are they required to say that it's a subscription? No. Man. 
bed as long as it's on the floor. I got doomed. I feel so hoodwinked by this dude. Can I have one of your fries? Just one. I have never sat in the passenger seat of my own car. And giving up this control makes me nervous. But I'm also so tired, I honestly just don't give a shit. So. So that's the next day. And I know what you're thinking. Brittany, you look significantly more crusty than you did in the last video. You're right. Well, guess what? I didn't change. And I honestly was so tired yesterday. I just didn't bring any of my clothes in or any bags in with me. I just came, fell asleep at like 6 or 7 p.m. What was it? Like 7? Yeah, literally fell asleep at 7 p.m. Now we're just kind of waiting to get rocking and rolling today. I got a coffee. It is not good. Mmm. <laughs> So I didn't really think about this when we booked the trip. We, we thought about nothing in regards to this trip, okay? So I was looking at the road and the, like the route that we have to drive today and I was like, oh my God, are we gonna have to drive through the mountains? Cause I had to drive through the mountains in Tennessee and when I tell you that was one of the most nerve wracking, nerve wracking experiences I've ever had in my life. So I'm like getting really anxious about driving today which my boyfriend offered to drive, but it is my car, so I have like control issues, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be anxious either way, so I feel like I'd rather be anxious and in control. <sighs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But I, I'm pretty sure that like the route we're gonna take, I think it's pretty flat. So, and then I'm just worried about driving through Denver, but I think it should be fine still. A little update, we have four hours left until we get to freaking Colorado Springs. Dude, once we actually get there for the night, I am grabbing, I am grabbing a truly and chillaxin. <laughs> like road tripping is so fun and you don't realize as kids, cause you're not doing it, but it's a little exhausting. I fell asleep at like 7 p.m. last night. I think I already said that, but let me tell you. It's also hard this time because we're traveling from the Midwest to Colorado, so we're literally driving through the most boring part of the United States, in my opinion. Um, whereas last year, him and I road tripped down to Florida because I was moving there for the summer. So we kind of like traveled a little, bit, a little bit more of like the East Coast, which I think the East Coast, the East and West Coast are like the best to road trip from, but you know, what are you gonna do? So another four hours. But for you, it'll be about two seconds, because that's the magic of the internet. Finally made it! Oh my gosh, we finally made it. Let me show you around. Okay, so let me take you back to the front door. Okay, so you get the whole experience with me. Where there's a bedroom, don't need to see that. It's a huge living room, it's so nice. <laughs> I did not change my clothes at all from the last day. This is the selling point, the freaking kitchen, are you kidding me? It's so nice. Second little fridge. It's got a nice little outside patio area. Cute, cute. This is the upstairs. Nice little sitting area. And the washer dryer for when we poop our pants. All in all, I think it looks really nice. Like, this is honestly a house I would like live in. It looks really nice. And you can see the mountains if we like walk to the end of the street, which is super cool. He's already getting settled. <laughs> Disney Plus, that's what we need, baby. Nice. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was a little freaked out because the back door was open, but you know, we've looked all around. Everything looks secure. I don't know. Driving overall today wasn't too bad. Um, we were on the freeway and traffic hit a complete stop at one point, which was pretty scary because I hate doing that on the freeway with people going 70 behind you, but we made it. That's all that matters. Hi guys, it's day two and I look like freaking George Washington. Anyway, 
we just got up and got ready and now we're gonna go ahead to breakfast and then where we're going after that is we're going to this little we're going to this little tram that will take us around or to the top or something with the garden of gods here which is really cool and i know that a lot of these places you can like hike to and it's really cool but listen <laughs> my boyfriend and i are outdoorsy people don't get me wrong but I wouldn't necessarily say we are hikers, um, at least I am not. I enjoy it on occasion, but I more so enjoy like a two mile hike on like semi level, not very dangerous terrain, like hiking on rocks and like up and up and up and up would make me a little nervous, you know? Um, I respect people that do it, I just... I can't like my anxiety gets a little bit too bad with it so we're gonna take a train <laughs> or a tram to it so I'm super excited about that but first we have to go find breakfast and coffee because I am so freaking hungry and I know what you're thinking you rented an Airbnb it has this amazing kitchen why don't you make breakfast breakfast is literally one of my favorite meals to eat out when him and I travel so we're gonna do that we might come back and make lunch um I forgot something, we went to Target last night and there was literally nothing. The Target here is under construction and when I tell you there was nothing, there was nothing. That's the update for now, but let's go get some coffee. That's, that's a must, okay? Oh my god. What? Let me give you a little update, okay? I have spent, well, collectively, we've probably spent about $20 on coffee today. And you're like, wow, you must be so caffeinated from drinking all that coffee. When I tell you, you'd be wrong because I got two coffees and they were not good. And listen, I am one, not about wasting coffee, two, not about wasting money. And normally like I'd stick through it, okay? And I did for one of them. The other, I physically could not drink it. It was so bad, it just tasted so burnt. And I realized that maybe I am becoming a coffee snob at this point, but I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to do. So we went to a third coffee place. We went to a third coffee place and this time I switched it up because normally I get a vanilla latte, but it's really hot right now. So I was like, let me get a cold brew because cold brew is usually super smooth. Love the coffee. So I was like, let me get a vanilla cold brew with almond milk. <laughs> it's much, but much, 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 much better. But I did spill on myself. So we're going back to change. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wanna cut that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we'll catch up with you in just a minute when we're like on the train. And then we're gonna figure out what we're doing the rest of the day. So, cheers. <laughs> Living life every day, late at night, not okay.